animals. Uh, today we're doing a very, very interesting species. Um, you might have been to this place before, uh, John Dory's. Obviously gets the name from the fish. We're talking about the John Dory, Zeus Faber. Now, the name derivation is not very interesting, so we're not going to go into that. It's nothing that's real insight into the species. But anyway, the John Dory. Often you, you guys will probably have seen the species, even though not a lot of you would have eaten or come across the species in real life. Now, unless you're a ski boater and you fish in the deeper waters. So, John Dory. A very, very flattened fish. So, hands going to be the John Dory for the day. You got a nice, big, big side to it. But if you turn it head on like that, very, very thin. So that's the whole shape of the John Dory. It's got a, a protruding jaw in the front. It actually shoots out as a, he's an ambush predator. So he'll get, the way they work, with him being very thin face on like that, he's very slow, he swims, he's, he's not an agile fish. He swims very, very slowly. And you'll see something that he wants to eat, something swimming along. He edges towards it like this, and because he's head on, the fish can't actually see him because he's so paper thin. Um, and he'll get close enough to him and then he shoots his jaw out and his jaw actually extends down like that. If ever, if ever you've watched the Predator movie, very very similar to that, how the alien opens his mouth and shoots out the thing. Bit of a movie freak. Uh, shoots out the jaw like that and that suction pulls whatever is in front of him into the mouth and then he'll eat it. So yeah, very very slow ambush Predator, that's kind of how, how he operates. Now, in terms of where you're going to find him, he is a deep water fish. They do venture in the closer um, shallower waters sometimes but they're really really more at home in the deep deep water. Now when you say deep 140 meters down to about 400 500 meters there about so we, we max max depth here. Um, obviously we we like to do fish that are commonly targeted in this this kind of facet and with the new electric reels that we brought out the um, the, the Dawa Tanacom you're really looking at more species that you're going to get come across that aren't normally caught but when you get them in the deep waters trawl soldiers and things like that so this is one of those species that we could be getting a lot more of them caught as we move into that deeper water dropping baits down and uh, and pulling them up so anyway side side uh, shoot day the john dory ambush predator deep water you're looking at it's spawning in summer um, off the continental shelf itself. Um, not much is known about exact timing or things like that, but they do aggregate and then and, and spawn. The eggs themselves, very interestingly, have got uh, oil droplets in them, and that helps them to not float up to the surface, but actually to sit just off the bottom. So they sit just above the bottom. That oil gives them just about uh, a little bit of uh, floatability, buoyancy, we'll call it. Um, and they just move along the bottom, move with the ocean currents and they'll, they'll distribute. Now, in terms of sizing and things like that, the fish gets to about 90 centimeters, which is, you know, a, a giant John Dory. They normally get them a hell of a lot smaller than that. And that will be a fish around about 14 years old. That's where they max out and that's about 8.2 kilos. So if you think the fish is only about that thick, that's, that's a, a hell of a big fish for its size. Um, in terms of catching and things like that, small live baits uh, down at depth, small prawn baits, chocker baits, that kind of thing. The general general bottom fishing stuff. Um, the ski boaters do catch them quite a bit in the in the deeper end of their, their spectrum. But in terms of fighting, yeah, you're going to get more fight from a string of mass bunker than from a John Dory. They they are not strong fighters, and once you get him, if he's on his side like that, pulling him up, obviously that gives you resistance. But as soon as he's this way, there's that's just cranking him up. So. They, they're very poor fighters, but they are absolutely amazing eating fish. That's obviously where the name John Dory gets the name from. It's good eating, anyway. Um, yeah, so very good eating fish. They are a deep water ambush predator, so very interesting kind of how they go about things. If you search on YouTube, you'll find videos of how they feed. Um, and they got the big, big dots in them. I don't think we mentioned this earlier. Shaping of the fish, very, very narrow, broad side like that very big spot in the middle like that um, they've got very whiskey fins on the top uh, wispy wispy fins on the top and uh, yeah very slow moving small tail small pectoral fins um, they don't do a lot of, of sharp shooting around and yeah very big mouth for the size biggish eye for their size as well but it's more for hunting in that low light uh, deep water so yeah the John Dory excellent eating poor fighting unfortunately um, but one of those species that's very charismatic and something that's uh, 
a nice thing to look at. He's he's, he's interesting. Let's call him that. It's it's a it's a fish that's not the most beautiful, but very very tasty. So we'll we'll forgive him for that. So yeah, the John Jory, Zeus Faber. Cheers, guys.